Hi, welcome to another episode of CC Top Solutions. You might be curious, what are we up to today? Well, as you can see, we have a nice brand new blast cabinet in the background. Well, that sucker needs 12 SCFM of air, and my current compressor is only good for about eight. So what are we gonna do? Well, solution, real simple. We're gonna build a much better, higher capacity compressor. Here's the existing compressor. I bought this for $40 at a swap meet probably 12 years ago. It works good. It's good for about eight EFM. Here is an old compressor that broke with electric, oilless, uh, uh, Campbell Hausfeld. I think that is a German last name. So uh, it's like the Porsche of air compressors. Anyways, we also bought ourselves a Harbor Freight 212cc Predator engine. Uh, I'm actually really surprised. That thing's like a paperweight. And we got ourselves a Harbor Freight 17 SCFM air pump. So we're gonna go ahead and, and put all of this stuff on the compressor. Our Harbor Freight compressor build went excellente. This thing charges up, it's a 20 gallon tank, charges up in like 60 seconds, maybe even less. There was concerns about the moment arm right here with having the pump hanging off. Uh, actually, so far it's been perfect. You'll see it in use. The hardest part of this whole build was really this fitting right here. It's actually three fittings. I'll send you, I'll put it in the description what all of those fittings are. So if you wanna build one of these yourself, it'll be very easy. I also had to buy a tubing bender and the tube right here. I had to buy this, which is our control valve and relief valve, which I've tested because this hose came off once. This is what actually throttles down the throttle when it reaches 130 or 140 PSI. But here, let's fire this thing up. You can see the configuration here, nice V twin, right? And this flows, if I remember correctly, 15.2 CFM at 90 PSI. There, can you guys read that? Yeah, I believe that says 15.2 at 90. Oh, yes, it does. All right, we closed our vent valve. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our switch to on. Put this to start. Fuel, I left it on. Oh. I didn't have it on start. Now I have it on start. Compressor build was a total success. I've put hours of use on it, no problems. I actually restored these two intake manifolds and made a video of it. I'm also working on my 1965 Mustang Revival and I've used it quite a bit to sandblast all the different brackets and accessories and stuff like that. So, what it really boils down to, every shop needs a great compressor and here's an excellent alternative to build like a $2,000 compressor for $700. All right, Harper Freight. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope anyone who's building this compressor benefits from the fitting information that I provided there because that was a real pain for me to find. I'll catch you guys next time.